Hi, welcome to Look Closer. Today I want to show you a little plant that stands alone, but ironically lives in a colony. It's wonderfully weird, looks nothing like its closest relatives, and keeps some pretty strange company. Today, we're looking for the Albany pitcher plant. Today, we're at a secret swampy location to check out some Albany pitcher plants, Cephalotus follicularis. I know that if you go down to the local nursery, you'll probably find a pitcher plant for sale for 10 bucks or so, but this one is special and I'd like to show you why. So we're going to give it the look closer treatment and find out what makes the Albany pitcher plant a little bit different. Let's head into the swamp and see if we can find some of these guys. All right, well here we are. We've got ourselves a nice little swamp and just over here are some Albany pitcher plants. Let's get the obvious strange thing about this plant out the way first. It's carnivorous, which already puts it into a very select group of plants, which puts animals below plants on the food chain. There are a few plants that do this, like the well-known Venus flytrap, the sticky sundews, and the tropical pitcher plants. There are even carnivorous aquatic plants called bladderworts. The Albany pitcher plant catches prey the same way as other pitchers do, like Saracenia and the Penthes. It has a modified leaf that forms the pitcher like a jug. The lip of the jug is slippery and inside the pitcher is digestive fluids. When an ant or a bug crawls along the edge of the lip, it slips falls into the liquid and gets digested. Job done. If we have a look at these guys, you'll see that there are a lot of ants in this habitat. So that actually makes up a large portion of its diet. Okay, weird thing number two about this plant. The Albany pitcher plant is the only species in its genus, and it's the only genus in its family, which means it's not even distantly related to the tropical pitcher plants Nepenthes and Saracenia. One of its closest relatives is actually Oxalis, the sourgrass, which is a common weed all over the world. Now I mentioned at the beginning of this video that this plant keeps some pretty strange company, and that's what we're going to move on to. That's the third strange thing about this plant. Like many of the species of plants and animals in the biodiversity hotspot of southwestern Australia, there's a very special animal that pairs with this plant and they have a very tight relationship. In this case, it's going to be this little guy. So inside the pitcher's digestive juices lives the larva of a fly called Bedysis ambulans. And it's not just that it can live in this inhospitable place. So far as we know, this is the only place that it can live. So without the pitcher plant, this fly can't exist. But that's not all that's strange about this little fly. It shouldn't actually be called a fly at all. It should really be called a walk because the adults of this fly are what's called a terrace and they never have any wings. So what we have is a fly that can't fly. So this is actually an ant mimic fly. Now these little flies are really hard to keep track of. So what I'm gonna do is change over to my other camera and take a couple of photos so you can get in and have a good look at this guy. Usually I'd be quite happy to tell you where I find most of my plants and animals, but in this case I'm not going to tell you because this is a secret location and there's a good reason for that. This plant is actually sought after, like many of our native orchids in Western Australia, for collectors. So people will actually come and poach these plants. They'll come and dig them up, take them away and sell them off to whoever will buy them. Obviously we don't want that to happen because this is actually a really rare plant. There's an estimated that there's only 20 or so big colonies of this plant that's known. I'm sure that there are a few hidden in the bush that we don't know about, but that means that there aren't that many of them. So if you do come across a patch of these guys in the wild, take plenty of photos, have a good look, and then leave them as you found them. There you have our closer look at the Albany pitcher plant and its cryptic little fly friend, 
Podiasis ambulans. I hope you've enjoyed this rare and endemic pair. See you next time.